several YouTubers have disappeared over the history of this site, either from the site itself or in real life, some never to be found again. But of all those cases, there is one in particular that I find to be quite strange. Meet Hannah Minx, a YouTuber with over half a million subscribers. In 2013, she disappeared without a trace. No tweets, no Facebook posts, and most importantly, no videos. So today, I want to try to answer the question of where did Hannah Minx go, and why did she leave? First, we should probably start with Hannah herself. Now today, her channels are dead, not only in the sense of no new uploads, but the fact that all the videos have been removed. These videos were removed sometime in 2021, so it appears either Hannah herself is still around, or someone with access to the channel. Thankfully for the purposes of this video, there are re-uploads floating around. There are some on YouTube, but I believe the Internet Archive has all, if not most, of her videos. If you're like me and you've never heard of Hannah Minx, well, she was a product of her time, with, uh, interesting eyes. And this sort of overly excited, weeb personality, definitely not something you see anymore today. I feel like this sort of behavior really died in 2015 when anti-cringe culture really picked up. And if she were around today, they'd probably make fun of her with memes like these. Her channel was naturally all about Japanese culture, from language to anime to cosplaying. And one of her more notable series was Japanese Word of the Week, which... Naturally, she just picks a Japanese word and talks about it in the video. Our j -wa this time is the word for fluffy, which is fwa fwa. Fu -wa, fu -wa. Fwa -fwa. This was the entirety of her content, at least as far as I can see. And of course, it all ended August 9th, 2013. While I can't tell you for sure how much buzz there was concerning her whereabouts in the first couple weeks, we can assume some people noticed. But this story doesn't really pick up until 2014, months after she had disappeared. This Reddit thread in particular lays out the information that was available at the time. There's a lot here, so let's break it all down. One, we can pretty much conclusively say she's not dead, or wasn't at the time of this thread, or even during the recording of this video. Searches for Hannah's real name, Hannah Wagner, do not bring up any search results relating to her being dead or missing. Though it is possible, though unlikely, that Wagner is not her actual last name. She could have changed it for privacy reasons, or been married, as I'll speak about later. But I think we can conclusively rule out that she was kidnapped, or killed in a car accident, or something. She is probably alive and well. Having said that, though, it is really strange how she disappeared without telling any of her own friends. Most notably, Onision, who released a video in 2014 asking if anyone had any information on her as she had just ghosted them and how they would normally talk a couple times a month on the phone. Hey guys, what's up? A lot of you probably don't know this, but I'm actually a pretty decent friend of Hannah Minx. Made a video a while back asking where is Hannah Minx because she hasn't uploaded a video, she hasn't made a status update, she hasn't done a lot of things that she would normally do in a very long time. The thing is, I also texted her on her phone and she didn't text me back, she normally texts me back. And she normally call me every two or three months just to see how things are going. Now, I can't speak to if they're actually friends or if this video was clickbait, but taking it at face value does add more questions to this story. Why would she disappear so suddenly and not even tell her own friends? Another YouTube friend of hers, longtime J vlogger Give Me a Break Man, said she was fine in 2014 and had gotten married. Next new story, speaking of love, in the, love is in the air, Hannah Minx got married. Yes, yeah, yeah, this is uh, better before, you know, but you know, some of you are still thinking about her. A lot of people have been like, asking about her but obviously like she's a grown woman obviously she doesn't want to make videos anymore that's fine um so good for her anyway most importantly she's happy and that's great that piece of information is backed up by this tweet and also this imdb page so it probably is true of course this can't be a hundred percent proven but three different sources are pretty good and i think one could safely assume she was married during this time other people have also said she was pregnant. I myself can't find anything pertaining to this, but it is possible. If one of these or both of them were true, it would make sense why she would want to step back from YouTube. These are big steps in life, and she might have decided now was the best time to end this whole thing. Makes sense to me. But it's still kind of weird how sudden it all was, and there are more strange factors to this story. For one, she was actually in a movie that was released in 2018. 
But it later turned out that movie had actually been filmed in 2013, and the director himself had no idea where she went. He had actually wanted to do more movies with her, but they couldn't find her. They had even discussed hiring a private detective just to figure out what happened. In that same article, one of the actresses for the film chimes in and says she had seen her that New Year's Eve, only a couple months before she disappeared. But after that, it was silence, and they both say they had been her friends. And honestly, I am more likely to believe these people were actually her friends, other than someone like Onision, for obvious reasons. At the bottom of that same article, there is a bit that combines with my next point. Which is that some believe there was some sort of legal dispute with her manager in which she ended up losing the rights to the Hannah Minx name and both channels as a whole. At first, this theory seems to make some sense. It's even supported by this video on a channel called La Minxette. But on a closer investigation, this doesn't appear to be the original La Minxette channel as it was made in 2014, on July 31st which was one day after this big Reddit thread was made. And that thread mentions this channel, which is impossible. Sure enough, with a little more searching, I figured out there was an older channel called La Minxette created in 2009 with about 3,000 subscribers. So it appears this channel here is an imposter, or for some reason she just made another channel with the same name much later. Seems unlikely. I myself believe this theory to be false. I think that if Hannah had actually lost the rights to her channel, she could have just come out under her real name and said something to the effect of, look, I can't speak on any details, but I will no longer be making Hannah Minx videos. But obviously she didn't do that, which makes me think she chose to disappear and it wasn't some sort of external factor. Also, I just want to say this La Minxette channel is really strange. There are some uploads of the videos and it's her just speaking French and smoking cigarettes. What a strange place YouTube once was. Moi je suis bien. Beaucoup de choses, j'ai fait beaucoup de choses aujourd'hui. And with that, the information begins to run pretty dry. Interest in Hannah faded, and that sort of brings us to the present, with just a couple interesting things left. One is that her Facebook page was actually updated in early 2020. The bio was changed to this. Sort of strange, but unless she was hacked, it appears somebody has access to this page. Another thing is her YouTube channel. I mentioned earlier all of her videos were deleted in 2021, years after she stopped uploading. To the month of deletion, her videos were still receiving a couple thousand views a month, and this is the most recent activity on any of her social medias, at least the ones you can see publicly, her Twitter is private. But I find this sudden deletion of videos very odd. I could have understood if it had happened a couple years after she had left, but doing it now is sort of out of left field. She has been out of the spotlight for a decade at this point, unless a rogue manager or Hannah herself just decided 2021 was the year. It just doesn't make sense to me, and it's probably the weirdest part of it. Because look, to me it makes sense that she probably left because she got married and maybe had kids or that she decided YouTube wasn't something she wanted to do anymore. Or maybe her views were going down. Or maybe it was because of YouTube's monetization policies. This was around the time that YouTube changed from clicking on a video to retention for views, which was in order to reduce clickbait. And Hannah was one of those creators who was doing the classic meta of boobs in the thumbnail. She saw the writing was on the wall, got married, had kids, that lined up with YouTube changing. She said, screw it made her money, got her fame, and decided it was time to bow out. It's still incredibly strange that she disappeared with no trace, and then years later all her videos were deleted. It's also weird that we have never gotten an answer to any of these questions. Having half a million subs in 2013 was nothing to scoff at. And even today, that's a pretty big number. If someone of comparable size disappeared today, people would probably figure out what happened. I mean, we haven't even gotten a photo of her since 2013. The last known and latest dated photo of her is from December 2013, from this article right here. That's the last time anyone online has seen her. Yeah, it's true she probably just left and had a family or something, but the dedication to having no online presence and ghosting her own friends and colleagues is pretty extreme and is something that most people would never do. Who knows? Maybe one day this whole thing will be solved for good. But for now, it just seems that 
Hannah wants to be left alone and so has just disappeared from everything. 